Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be playing the cheapest deck I think I have ever played in Clash Royale. It is this 1.5 Elixir Minor Cycle deck. As you can see, we have every possible spirit in the in the game. We have the Heal Spirit, the Electro Spirit, the Fire Spirit, the Ice Spirit. We also have one Elixir Skillies. We have the Minor, of course. And last but not least, the pairing of the Ice Golem and the bats to clean up and defend like real pros. So you're gonna see this this deck actually rose my my stress levels through the roof um, because you have to be playing cards every single second. Um, but yeah, in the end, it was really fun. I think this deck is amazing. It's super fun. You guys have to try it out. And yeah, so one of our main attacks is gonna be the bats and the miner in the tower. Um, I think is the main way that we get damage, um, especially when we know that they, they don't have zap, arrows, or any other way to, to deal with them. Just look at how much damage we do right here. Um, and yeah, just look at this match. We're playing very solid defense against this giant skeleton. Um, just a nice golem waiting for his electro spirit to actually go through, then tanking again with a miner, using our electro spirits to then deal with his um, skeleton barrel. And it's just going insane. It went actually so well that he gave up in the end. So we're going to speed through this um, through this game. And we'll get right into the second one. He actually feared our deck. That's why we won that. So here he comes instantly with a balloon first play. We're going to bat um, with a with a heat, with a nice spirit. And then go minor to tank for it. And this, this cycle is so insane that you can see he went mirror goblin. Mirror, um, mirror balloon the other lane and we were actually able to defend it in the same way and actually add the miner in the end since he used his arrows on the right side we decided to go for that extra push to get a lot of damage on his towers and look it's only been 40 seconds of gameplay and look already how his towers are looking we're gonna defend this royal ghost with some skeletons and an electro spirit to reset it and let the skeletons do their job and uh, i don't know if this guy is also gonna give up like the last one no, he doesn't. He goes with some, with a minion horde, and we have all the spirits to actually tank, um, tank them for a bit, and then clean up the mess. He actually goes for a clone, so he's very low on elixir right now. We decide to go for minor bats, as I don't think he's actually managed to cycle back to his arrows yet. Um, he actually goes for a baby dragon, but look at the damage my bats deal to the baby dragon. He's actually left with one shot of HP, and the miner was meanwhile just mining away at the tower. Um, if this deck doesn't tell you that the the miner needs to be nerfed, I don't know what I can. <laughs> Not just kidding. Um, but look, we're gonna go with another attack because he just wasted his arrows. He tries to defend with Royal Ghost, but I don't know if he knows that the Royal Ghost is invisible. That's the whole point of the card, but okay. Um, we actually managed to defend it again with skeletons and a couple of... And one spirit. And then the fire spirit and the electro spirit just to overkill this minion horde. So far, so good. Um, this is the second match, we'll have two more matches after this, and remember guys, if you want to see any crazy video idea, any tutorial in any deck, um, if you just want to know what are the top decks in the meta right now, comment whatever you need on the comment section down below, I'll do my best to get you the video you want as soon as possible, and uh, just leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying this type of content, because it really helps me out. Um, so meanwhile, he went for the double balloon again, we actually managed to defend it, pretty well and now we're going to defend the baby dragon with some spirits first is the the electro spirit and then the heal spirit which honestly i don't i don't know if i've ever played the heal spirit that's but okay i I'm, I'm starting to like it if i if i have an old spirit deck i think it does pretty well um so he does again um his only play i don't know what deck he's playing um but it's a balloon and then mirror to the other side he actually gets back to his um, arrows in time so we don't have time to cycle to another set of um, bats but regardless of that we managed to stop it he doesn't take our tower because he needs a lot of hits for that look at the value on that electro spirit he hits every single minion on the minion horde and then this is game over so on to game three we're going to start with one spirit of each kind to each side and he plays a tombstone so this immediately to me signs like this must be like a lava hound deck or something like that so we go with a miner with an Electro Spirit, which honestly hits the Tombstone and one of the Skeletons it spawns, I think. Yeah, because look, there come three Skeletons on the right side and they're usually coming pairs. So yeah, so now we're going to be cycling uh, these Spirits. And that Tombstone actually puts us in a weird situation because I don't know how to play a Miner in that tower um, without the Skeletons there just obliterating my Miner. 
But since he splits Elite Barbarians on the back, we're gonna split um, our bats to have them in cycle again. And then, yeah, we're just gonna bring everything to the middle, use an Ice Golem to tank an Electro Spirit to get rid of the, of the Skeletons, and then bats to hopefully take the Queen if he didn't use his um, her ability. But uh, well, he comes with a Bandit. We don't have our Skeletons in hand, so we're gonna Fire Spirit and then try to try to freeze her with the Ice Spirit. We should have Electro Spirited uh, the Bandit because she dealt so much damage. Um, but oh well, we'll know for the next time. He actually does a good bandit. I didn't think of that and he activates his King Tower Pope. Since we know that he does, he has very low elixir, we take his bandit out with some bats and then place a miner right in front. And the bats are actually going to connect into the tower, dealing so much damage and putting us in front once again. So his deck is pretty scary with the elite barbarians. I think that if he manages to place his earthquakes well, um, he can eliminate my... Um, my skeletons and then cause a bit of trouble um, but I think that as far as we split the bats correctly and manage to just keep spamming down the middle so that the elite barbarians cannot move we should be fine so he plays his archer queen in the middle as well we're gonna place almost everything that we have um, just cycling spirits playing more bats more electro spirits more of everything um, he uses his archer queen ability and she's just crossed the river so our tower can actually reach her um, so he plays an Earthquake and he actually mirrors the Earthquake, so we go all in uh, with every single Spirit we have since we know that he just wasted a lot of Elixir. Our Bats take down the Bandit, our Spirits do so much damage and that tower is gone um, because he thought that we couldn't do that and he decided um, to double Earthquake at a time when he was actually low on Elixir. He plays some of the Barbarians but we managed to take them down with the Bats and every single Spirit we have in the deck which is pretty much... <laughs> the main play that of this deck is just spam every single spirit you have um, and yeah so here he shows that he has the rascals the rascal boy dies before anything else and he's gonna mirror them and since there's 10 seconds left we know that we cannot really defend this so we're just gonna kite it down the middle kite everything that we can especially the bandit and then just again once again our main um, play just spamming every single spirit that we have <laughs> but that seems to work and we're going into game four the last a game of the video he shows us a firecracker we're scared that it's actually going to be a meta deck um, but then he so shows a bowler we're going to defend it with an ice golem um, to entertain the firecracker and then just some bats on top of the bowler um, we play a nice spirit on the other side and a late minor we should have played it a lot earlier because i think only one bat will survive um, but oh well he plays a valkyrie and the valkyrie will go backwards to try and get the minor um, but look at that bat the single bat did so much damage if we would have played the Miner a lot earlier, we would have almost taken down that tower. So we play early bats to take down the Valkyrie. He shows us the most dreaded card he could have against our deck. Um, and she's create, she's going to be creating instant like 100 piggies in this match. And then he shows the Ram Rider, which is pretty difficult to stop uh, when you're playing this deck. And then the worst card again that, she, that he could have, the Poison. Because the Poison kills everything that I put in them. Um, kills the bats, kills the skeletons, and it really, really hurts all the spirits that I have. Um, so this is going to be a pretty interesting game. He has a lot of counters to my card, um, but I don't know. Will he be able to keep up with my cycle? We'll have to see. Here, I think we're going to attack at the left side because he just cannoned. So we're going to go bats and a miner, of course, our main play, our only play. Uh, we're going to pair it up with some ice spirit, and the ice spirit would actually get to the tower. He does a fireball, killing all the bats. Um, but the miner is there just chipping at the tower. We have to recycle back to bats. That's where we're throwing spirits down the left side um, to take care of this bowler. So we're going to go again, ice golem, skeleton, bats, and then the ice spirit and the electro spirit to try and stop the ram rider from hitting our tower. But I'm not sure if it's going to be enough. Is it going to be enough? No, he just touches our tower in the end. And then that firecracker is going to be left um, fighting against the ice golem. We want to kill it with our bats but he actually plays a very good valkyrie to be able to um just defend that firecracker but we're gonna then use it to activate our king tower and defend the valkyrie with an ice golem and meanwhile we're just gonna be attacking with our minor um bat combo which i'm not sure if he's gonna defend he's gonna have to waste a fireball um which is honestly pretty good because he wastes two of elixir for a fireball to defend um four of elixir of bats here we're going to defend with an Ice Golem and Skeletons instead of the Bats. We're going to save the Bats for the Battle Ram. Here he comes. Um, we're going to try and cycle back to our Electro Spirit, but he decides to poison. So our Bats are just done. 
Look at the left side, our Electro Spirit is going to walk down, he's going to try to fireball it, but he was too quick for him. Um, and there we go. So now it's become a who will take the second tower faster game. And look at the witch that he placed on the right side. We're going to have to try and tank it with a miner, but I'm not sure if that's going to be possible. The miner is going to try and kill her. It doesn't work. And look at this pig rain that's going to happen around here. There's There were, there were four pigs at the same time. Um, but oh well, he's gonna ram rider the other side. We're not gonna bat because we knew that he had um, the poison and that he was gonna place it. He actually dies before touching our tower, and we're gonna tank for the witch with our ice golem and then skeleton afterwards. Um, and then again, the same play ice golem, skeleton, and then place the bats very high up to try and kill her before she actually touches any of her skeletons. And then look at the sheer amount of bats that we have here. Looking back, we should have placed an ice golem in the middle. Um, due to the amount of bats we had, it would have been good to tank against the firecracker. Um, but oh well, he actually plays the cannon again as well uh, to defend it. So so yeah, now we're really ahead in damage, but he can kill us in one push. So we have to be careful with that. We play high bats because we don't want to play it low due to the poison. We play minor to try and counter with all those bats. And he's going to play a Valkyrie just in time so that our bats don't touch the tower. And we're just going to have to spam miners as quickly as we can while trying to defend, because I don't think we can actually defend this next push that is coming. Okay, so the first miner almost gets no damage. The second miner is going to the back. Let's see if we can predict it. It gets one, two, only two shots. We're going to do a third miner over there. Let's see how he does. He's going to get one, two hits as well. And we're going to do a third miner, which will get two hits. But meanwhile, look at our tower. It's going down. And this tower is going to be left with 55, which is only one minor touch. We're so close. But anyways, hope you liked the video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.